How much does it really cost to self-publish a novel? In today's video, I'm going to be discussing how much I spent to self-publish my third contemporary Christian romance novel, The One Who Sees Me. So if you'd love to know more about that, then keep watching. My name is Joni and welcome to Love Qualified, a ministry that is dedicated to encouraging others to experience the sovereign love of the one true God who has qualified us to be his beloved ones. I'm a contemporary Christian romance author. I have published three novels and two devotionals. I love doing videos like this where I just share to give a bit of insight about what to expect when you are self-publishing. I am a self-published author or an indie author and today I'm just going to be doing a breakdown of everything I spent to publish my third contemporary Christian romance novel, The One Who Sees Me. This novel published in June 2023 and I'm just going to tell you guys what I spent. So I've got my laptop here and I'm going to be looking down because I got my invoices up just to make sure that I um, give you guys the right um, numbers. So the very first thing that I spent money on was on the blurb, so editing the blurb. There's a lady that I use, she has been helping me to edit all my blurbs from the very first novel, so my very first novel, The One Who Knows Me. Um, I'll leave her Instagram handle here. Um, she charged, I think it was $25 or is it $30? I'll leave the actual number of dollars on the screen but I ended up paying about £23.10 to just edit the blurb for me. The second thing that I spent money on is the cover, the cover design. So my cover designer is called Elle Maxwell and I've always um, used her from the very beginning. Like we've been working together since my very first novel, which I published in 2021. And um, she does the illustrated covers. She has um, been amazing in trying to bring my characters to life. Um, and she charged me $350 um, for two illustrated couple, like two, couple, like the two people on the cover. Um, if you have one person or if you want a faceless person, so you you pay less but i wanted face i wanted faces i don't like the faceless illustrated covers and obviously i wanted the male and female main character on the cover so she charged me 350 dollars for that which turned out to be 279 pounds and 80 pence and then the next thing that i spent money on was also book editing so um i work with my um my editor. My editor's name is Michaela Bush and Tangled Up in Writing is her Instagram handle. She's also a Christian indie author um, and she's an editor. Um, and so she edits lots of different genres, including contemporary fantasy and I think nonfiction as well. I've been working with her also since my very first novel. So she's very well versed with this series. Um, and because I've been a long time, we've been working for um, like three to four years now she does give me some um discounts based on the fact that it is a series so i ended up paying for developmental edits um line edits or well, developmental edits copy edits and proofread. So those are the three things that I paid for with her. And I paid $249, um, which ended up being £211.57. That's what I paid for that. And then the next thing um, I paid for was ISBNs. So I, because I'm an indie author that's not exclusive to Amazon, I refuse to be. I don't know if one day I'll ever want to go like exclusive to Amazon but at the moment I'm a wide author which means that my books are available on a wide range of platforms um, including Amazon but also places like Apple Books, Scribd, um, Kobo, it's no longer called Scribd right it's called like Everance or something like that <laughs> um you know barnes and noble lots of different places and ingram spark as well so i uploaded my books to ingram spark um for the first time this year so all my books including this book um and as well as so i needed to use an isbn um for the ebook and for the paperback but then something happened if you watch the behind the scenes of publishing my first like of publishing this novel i'll leave the the link to the video here i mentioned that there was something that went on with the isbn's on, on barnes and noble um i uploaded the paperbacks and then it, it asked me to i had to use a different isbn for whatever reason it was very annoying but anyway i ended up using more than two isbn so in total i paid um i used up like 49 i think i used three isbn they all cost 49 pounds and 20 pence 
I can check definitely how many ISBNs I use for the one who sees me. So I use an ISBN for the, the ebook, for the paperback, and then for the paperback on Barnes and Nobles. So usually it would be just be one ISBN for the ebook and one ISBN for the paperback. But you know, something happened and you know, I had to use more than more than two and I was so annoyed. So yeah, that's basically all I spent and that brings us to a grand total of five hundred and sixty three pounds and sixty seven pence five hundred and sixty three pounds and sixty seven pence we have made this money back by god's grace and lots more we made the money back in three months so the book was published 6th of june and by september we had made the money back this is the fastest that we have ever made our money back from publishing a book and to be honest i didn't even do a blog tour for this like i did in my second novel um my first and second novel it took me about six to seven seven to six to six to eight months to get the money back um if you want to know what i spent in my first two books my first two books i will leave the links to those videos down below and you can watch them just to compare um they're all roughly about 500 to 600 pounds i don't think i've spent more than i don't think i've spent up to 700 pounds for all of them so you can go and have a look um by watching the, the video below i didn't do any blog tours for this like i did for my second book um and then i also didn't um order any proof copies i just trusted that vellum was gonna you know format it so proof copies were something that i did do for my other um my other books i didn't do that so let me know what you think of that so people spend you can spend as uh, you know as as much as you can in publishing books um it doesn't have to be expensive um you know you can definitely find your people um and your team and build your team um that and work with a budget that's you know affordable for you i definitely knew from the beginning that i wanted to spend less than like less than a thousand pounds unless you spend the easier it will be to get your money back um because it's a business at the end of the day you want to make sure that you are your expenses you're keeping your expenses as low as possible within reason you also want to make sure that you produce a quality product my editor is amazing um and she's very affordable and um, my cover designer as well you know she has upped her prices for the covers because of you know inflation and everything that's going on in the world right now um so the cover for book four the one who holds me is going to be slightly um more expensive but when that time that time comes, so either later this year or next year, when I'm doing a breakdown for how much I spend publish, publishing book four, I will let you guys know, you know, how that compares to this one. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, is this what you expected? Have you self-published as well or in the publisher books? How, you know, if you're comfortable sharing how much you spent or what, um, what advice you'd like to give us to save money then please do uh, leave a comment down below check out my books if you're into contemporary christian romance and um yeah you can follow like subscribe hit the bell notification and follow this my journey to growing my author business and and yes yeah, so if you love anything faith entrepreneurship and lifestyle then don't forget to subscribe thank you guys so much for watching um have a lovely day and god bless you Mwah. bye